In a sport like swimming, that could be ruthless. Uh, a microsecond can put you on the podium, a microsecond can put you off the podium. I've had hundreds of reasons to give up, but uh, I think uh, by not giving up, uh, I've reached till this stage. And as much as I love to celebrate the victories, I would like to analyze my failures as well. And I also feel that failure is always a part of success. Welcome to the Garbhavtar Show. In today's episode, I have with me Niranjan Mukundan, born with a medical condition called Spina Bifida. Niranjan is one of India's decorated para swimmers who has won medals and laurels to the country at the international stage. Niranjan has undergone as many as 19 surgeries since birth. Taking up swimming as part of aqua therapy to improve his health, Niranjan fell in love with the sport and dressed as people say is history. Niranjan is the first Indian swimmer to have won 98 international medals as of today, representing the country. He currently holds the most number of Asian records, 7 in total, 2 long course and 5 short course. He was crowned as Junior World Champion at the Junior World Games in 2015, winning 10 medals, that is 7 gold and 3 silver. Thanks for joining me Niranjan, such a pleasure to have you on my show. Thank you so much Garima. <laughs> So please tell us about your journey and the challenges that you've faced. So, you know, uh, when I was born, I was born with a medical condition and uh, I had to undergo a lot of surgeries since birth. And one of the doctors actually suggested me to take up horse riding or swimming. So okay. as a small kid, uh, you know, I was very intimidated by the look of a horse and the size of a horse. So I just thought, why don't I get into the pool, tap my hands and see if that works, if I can move. And that's how I got into swimming. That's how I got introduced to, you know, water sport. And uh, it's been a life-changing journey for me since then. Super, super. So can you please tell us a little bit more about this med medical condition that you, uh, that you have? And, uh, you know, what were the difficulties that you had to face because of that? So uh, I was born with this condition called spina bifida, where my spine was incomplete. As well as uh, that also gave me trouble in my both my legs. Uh, I was kind of virtually paralyzed till the age of five. Uh, my parents used to carry me uh, most of the places and I was not independent. I was not on my own. But uh, swimming actually played a very, very important role in strengthening my health condition, my legs. As well as, uh, you know, the surgeries that I went through on my spine and on my legs uh, uh, made me independent and uh, and uh, here I am uh, representing the country at the highest level now. That's fantastic. Such an inspirational and uh, incredible journey that you've had. So what's been the best learning from your journey? I mean, nothing comes easy. That's, that's something that I've always learned. And as uh, sports people, as an athlete, uh, uh, it's there's no shortcut to success. You cannot become a star overnight. And it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of uh, patience and consistency. You know, athletes like us, usually we get injured um, and, and, you know, you come back uh, and then you train. But think uh, when you have a medical condition you have to you have to undergo surgeries probably every summer uh, there's a lot uh, that goes into your mind you have to be mentally strong you have to have that resilience you have to have that patience and uh, my my journey has been one by itself by by you know uh, i've had my ups i've had my lows but uh, the only thing that i've always stuck up to is hard work and, and keeping up that consistency whether i'm doing well whether i'm going through a rough patch whether i've just had a surgery or 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 i'm just recovering uh, all it takes is the passion towards the game and the love towards the sport this is so so incredible i mean uh, you know your your passion clearly shows uh, you have uh, done so much of proud for the country we are all very very proud of you niranjan so please tell us some of your good habits that you follow during a training day and a non training day i mean training day non training day usually 
you know we get very less breaks and uh, uh, being a swimmer myself you know off season is is very very rare uh, nowadays because we train throughout the year we train um, um, you know throughout the season because of the competitions and uh, uh, major events that come up every other year or every other month so usually my training days consist of around 5 to 6 hours of swimming and then uh, you know a couple of hours of gym and strength and conditioning and uh, my non training days usually is quietly uh, be in my uh, house be in my bed because uh, you know uh, it's it's it takes such a toll when you're when you're training so much when you're training so hard uh, rest days are completely for rest you know you probably would see me uh, sometimes catching up with friends but that's a very rare sight nowadays it's probably you know rest and recover and get ready for the next training session is your training different than the rest i mean see uh, obviously i have a i have a condition i probably i have a disability that would that would uh, you know put me a little away from the able but uh, you know the training regime uh, stays the same the the hard work is is a little more i feel because i will have to compensate the disability that i have but uh, you know the teams that i train in india or or the teams that i train with in abroad as well have been very very accommodative and uh, they've not made me feel that i have a disability so that is made me very very grounded and that's given me a sense that you know i will have to work hard to reach the top so uh, never have i ever felt that you know uh, i've been born with a disability so i need uh, this uh, special assistance or i need uh, a special care to be given to me i've been treated normally so uh, uh, so in a way that's kept me grounded and uh, in a way it's made me work hard for all the success that i've had and uh, for all the success that i look forward to no fantastic i think aapke jazbe aur aapki feeling ke liye hum sab aapko bahut bahut da dete hain aur you know uh, this type of passion sab mein hona chahiye you know to achieve uh, uh, you know and uh, in spite of all odds actually Thank so you. Uh, if you could meet your younger self who is striving to be where you are today what is that one piece of advice that you would uh, would like to give to him i mean never give up that is something that i've always stuck to and that is something that my parents have always asked me to keep in mind because it, we find hundreds of ways to give up and and a small thing probably as a sportsman probably when you lose a competition or or you know you get hurt the first thing that comes to your mind is okay i'm done with this and for me in 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 my condition i've had it every other day probably i've had it every other week every other month uh, i've had hundreds of reasons to give up but uh, i think uh, by not giving up uh, i've reached till this stage and and that is something that i always wanted to say my younger self because um, you know maturity also plays a very important role at that time and uh, when you're transiting probably from a junior level to senior level there are hundreds of reasons for you to give up uh, you know your physical toll uh the surgeries that you undergo you know uh, yeah. sometimes recovery doesn't uh, happen that soon it takes a lot of time so you just feel you're not going to make it to the top at all but at that time if you can keep up your mental strength and if you can stay a little more hard uh in the mind here then then i think that's going to take you higher awesome awesome so how do you tackle that feeling so i mean uh, like of not giving up in the sense how do you kind of like uh, can constantly tell yourself that uh, you know i have to go on so what is that kind of mindset and what that uh, you know any any piece of advice that you would like to give uh, uh, to the athletes out there you know how to maintain that motivation i mean see in a country like india 140 crore people not everybody gets a chance to represent your country at the highest level and uh, and for me uh, it's it's to give the 100% and to see that tricolor go up each and every time and and you know every each and every time i wear the tricolor and and i represent my country it gives me goosebumps though you know i've been representing our country for the past 10 years now even today when i wear the tricolors and and i say you know i represent my country india it gives me goosebumps and and when you look at it from that perspective these are all small sacrifices that you that you undergo uh, you know and 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 it's a passion towards the sport uh, things that you love will keep you going and for me it's 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 swimming swimming has given me the freedom swimming has given me uh, uh, 
a recognition swimming has given me a life uh, probably uh, i couldn't walk uh, on land for a for a brief period of time in my childhood but i was able to move from one place to another in water wow. so so that is something uh, that that uh, that had given me another life so 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 swimming is always kept me going and uh, i think i think that passion gets you addicted to the sport this is super i mean i'm sure it has it must have been a very empowering experience for you so yeah. wh- what's your best game memory i mean i i've, I've had a lot of uh, events and competitions that i look forward and i've i've, I've done really well but uh, if i have to pick one or two one is obviously you know becoming the junior world champion that is something that uh, we never thought of uh, you know that was i still remember in the year 2015 uh, me my coach and my team and we were having a discussion you know uh, we got to know that this was the only year that i could take part in the junior level and i was transiting to the senior level so uh, our only thought was to give the best and uh, you know when probably down the years when people look at indian swimming they would have to know that you know oh, okay niranjan has given his best in the competition mm-hmm. and uh, when i finished the junior world games and i was crowned as the junior world champion it was a surreal feeling for me you know winning seven golds and uh, three silvers creating a record by itself and i was also uh, recognized by our government of india by giving uh, by receiving the national award that year so so it was a very very memorable year for me it was yeah. kind of like a breakthrough year for me as well because i was just transiting from the junior level to the senior level so so that is something that uh, i i cherish for a very very long time and of course uh, you know representing india at the paralympic games in 2020 was something it's it's obviously every athlete's dream to represent his or her country at the olympics or paralympics yeah. so for me uh, you know as a kid i dreamt of representing our country at the paralympic games and uh, that dream came true 10 years later so so that was that was another uh, unforgettable moment for me awesome awesome so um, tell me how do you build confidence uh, you know in your game or life and also um anything that you would like to tell about how to get a winning mindset i mean it's it's probably more of a mental game than a physical game see every every game of course takes a physical toll but it also takes a mental toll as to how you see that game and there are going to be a rainy days there are going to be days that's going to be like a sunshine as well so so for me it's to take one step at a time one game at a time one event at a time and uh, um, as much as i love to celebrate the victories i would like to analyze my failures as well and i also feel that failure is always a part of success so the more you fail the more you feel that you're going down the more you're raising up so that that mindset you know has has always helped me has, has always changed me uh the way i think towards the sport because uh in a in a sport like swimming that could be ruthless uh, a microsecond can put you on the podium a microsecond can put you off the podium so so it's 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 how you take it and how you bounce back awesome So, what's your message to the upcoming young athletes? I mean, it could it could be athletes or anybody in that profession. Yeah. I think if you love what you do and do what you love, uh, that that's gonna that's gonna take you forever. That's gonna take you higher. Because uh, for me, it was it was more like you know I found that passion towards swimming and I wanted to do swimming. once i got into the pool i felt like yes this is something that i want to do and when you love what you do and you do what you love uh, you know there is there is no like stoppage there there might be days when you feel like okay fine uh, you know this is not my day but you never feel like quitting it super okay let's come to the rapid fire questions so how do you keep yourself uh, motivated i think listening to songs that is something that's kept me grooving and moving What's the best advice you've ever got? Do what you love and love what you do. Any other side passion that you follow? Travel, travel. I'm in a sport that, you know, takes me around the world and I love to travel. Who's your favorite athlete and also what's the biggest learning you take away from his or her career? 
I mean, Rahul Dravid has been one of my uh, favorite players that I've always looked up to, and uh, the way he's been on field, calm and composed, and off field, you know, as a coach of Indian team as well. So probably I would need to take that calm and composure from Rahul Dravid. Documentary film that inspired you the most. I mean, there have been a lot of documentary films uh, over the years that I've watched, not just uh, pertaining to uh, swimming or to a sport. Uh, probably wouldn't name one. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Best exercise you suggest for mental fitness? That's 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 kind of like you know. Uh, I would say it would differ from uh, an athlete to athlete, but uh, I think uh, uh, meditating should help in a very very larger way so sure. your favorite quote my favorite quote would again be like uh, you know live life like there is no tomorrow most embarrassing moment uh, i think uh, the first race of my life that is that is like the most embarrassing moment i touched the wall and i thought i finished first then i realized that i was last and everybody had gone home so oh. i was so slow wow <laughs> cool <laughs> What's your fashion style? Most of the time, you can see me only in tracks and joggers. So, <laughs> so, so as an athlete, that is that's the most comfy and the fashion style that that an athlete would love. So, sure. proudest accomplishment so far? I think um, I'm on ninety eight international medals. To cross that hundred medal mark would be would be one of the big, biggest milestones that I'm looking forward to now. Awesome. What's your biggest dream? to be recognized as one of india's most decorated uh, indian para swimmers that india has ever produced probably that's awesome i wish you all the very best for your uh, uh, you know goals and aspirations and i'm sure if you have this dream you will definitely accomplish it and with this we come to the end of the show thank you so much nirajan for joining me in this absolutely amazing session thank you thank you so much i had a lot of fun Thank you and thank you all for listening to today's episode with your host Garma Avtar see you in the next one have a great day bye